Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Terra Tech. So, I'm on a little mission here. I gotta go open a crate. I actually finished <laughs> destroying the. Oh, this isn't good. Um, finished destroying the enemies that were guarding the crate. It was kind of an ambush. And just as the last enemy was blowing up, they managed, I guess, to hit one of my batteries and take my core out. Yeah. So my tech exploded. And as they say, that was that. Yeah. Not good. So I am once again on a slightly lesser tech. What the heck is going on here? It's weird. This guy doesn't sort of stop. He just keeps going in a direction. Don't know why. But, um, yeah, so I'm kind of a step or two down from where I was, and as you can see, I'm much lower on cash than I was. As it cost me a fair bit to get back on my feet here. But I do have one thing tucked away in inventory, and that is a good amount of specialty factory modules. So we can make lots of money I'm kind of in search of a part, and that part is a beacon, common enough, but it puts a permanent mark on your mini-map that you can get back to, because I think I've got the rest of what we need down to build a decent factory, but without a full-size map, which we unfortunately don't get, I, I'd never find the darn thing again. <laughs> Alright, let's hope we don't run into too many enemies, because I'm not feeling all that crispy. No, oh god, speak of the devil, eh? Seems most of his weapons are on the back, so... There we go. Wow. He, uh, he had a part or two on him that he dropped, that's for darn sure. Let's scoop that up, because we are going to use all of that to make us some money. Yes, indeed. Let's get stuff into his range. Got even more stuff over here. So I do hope everybody's doing well today. It is Good Friday today as I record this. It will be later than that when you see it. Man, he really uh, Kind of let go of stuff here when it went. It went, didn't it? We got parts miles away. Look at this. Way up here we got stuff. Well, it's just a single blocks, but... Still, we are going to break all of that stuff down here in the very near future. And make money out of it. Because as well as the uh, resources that are around... Let's, uh, quickly... We might as well anchor while we're doing this. Um... I think I picked up the rest of the... Or at least I did, some more of these. Okay... You still got quite a few on that side. Let's fill the gaps. Okay. And we are charged. We're packing like five batteries, so. And I've got an anchor built underneath. That's what's operating all this other stuff. So it charges this up pretty darn quick. 
hit the V key to release, and we're good to go. Let's carry on towards this goal. Hopefully there'll be some good parts. But yeah, as soon as I can find a beacon block, and basically to do that, What's he got? Uh, nothing too amazing. Oh. You should have some slightly better stuff. At least worth a little bit more money. Oops. <laughs> Good job, species. There we go. Get over there. There you go. Don't want you to feel left out. Come on. Lovely. And back in inventory it goes, because we cannot afford to lose it. Oh yeah, you're gonna be... ...somewhere other than this nice smooth part, aren't you? We're still at pretty much a full charge. But I was having issues getting the anchors to work... ...when I was using the larger wheels, which is really unfortunate. I mean, they'd work... Sometimes, <laughs> but that's not good when that's what you're counting on to more or less keep you alive between uh, shops anyway. So now, What's the matter, Dexter? Yeah? Are you being a little pest? Yeah, that's a good boy. And we are already charged back up. Our main solar barely had time to open. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's drop back down. It's off that way, huh? I know it's in a really awkward spot, because, you know, of course it is. Whoa. There we go. Good stuff. Wow, that guy was worth a little bit. Wonder why. Oh, Dexter, enough, buddy. I don't know why he just continues to roll back and forth. It's like these wheels have no brakes. Oh, enemies are too close. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Really? Alright. Am I going to be able to get up here? Barely. There we go, there's the crate. So, let's grab this guy. I 
And let's get our parts. Ooh, that looks nice. What's that? Big Papa fuel tank. No, no, you're not just going to roll down the hill. Then expect we've forgotten about you, no matter what you are or aren't. What are you? you ain't too late. Get this sucked up in case enemies show up. All right. Okay, okay. So now, kind of back to my original premise here. Well, let's see another nice gadget to have on your vehicle. Again, keeping in mind the premise that never put anything on here that you're not willing to lose are these. When you're anchored, this will allow you to buy things that you might not have otherwise been able to buy. Now, what I'm looking for, as I said, is a beacon. Hmm, can even get AI modules. Signal marker. Aha! Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Now that we have this, well, soon we'll have this. Um, This is a nice spot. What the heck is that? Holy crack pipes, man. Alright, I'm gonna, uh... Oh, it's night time. Oh. Hmm. Man, that thing looks crazy. Stop blowing things up. Yes. Very nice. Stop, man. And we'll put you down. Boom. Oh, you're a saucy monkey. goods. Alright. So where is the clo- oh. <laughs> Are we gonna get a charge? Oh, it's night time. Darn. Can't charge at the night time. Alright. Let's go hunting then. Where is the nearest shop? Too bad there isn't one down on this plane, that would be perfect. Yeah, it's a pretty small area actually. Because there's money to be made here. Hmm. What are you on about, Dexter? Hmm? 
Hmm. Okay, something's going on here. Ah! Oh, are you serious? What the heck, man? Okay, that was, uh, just a little weird. Oh, come on. So how far away is that shop? Further than I'd like, unfortunately, it's not down in this valley. So... My other choice... See, the reason I want to shop close by is so that we can get our missions and we can sell items that we're not managing to sell through our own uh, factory things. Okay, that one's just... Yeah, I don't even want to go there. Once we have to start going through those rocky plains things, it's almost pointless. So, this thing's so darn slow, but being able to charge any time the sun's up is just so good. So good. Oh, somebody's chasing us, I think. This way and see if I can find myself a shop. Because usually these ash desert sort of areas have lots of good mineable resources, so if you can find a shop on them, and there is usually one somewhere, you can set up some pretty good money. And it's nice and super flat, which doesn't hurt at all. So let's head till we lose track of that one and see if it picks up another one. Jeez, my wheels seem to be in a constant state of I hate you. Hmm. There we go. So let's just grab them. Hmm. I was hoping this one would actually... Oh, maybe it is. Have a look. No, it's somewhere weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely not down on the plane. Come on, this thing is so slow, my god. It's one thing the big wheels were good for. 
I had uh, what were called monster truck wheels on it at one point. But those turned out to be just a little too springy for their own good. Nice speed to them. They turned really strangely. When he wanted to turn, they wanted to kind of crab. <laughs> We're gonna finish you off. Whoa, what is that? Oh, dang, <laughs> I was going to say, that'll get us some blocks, <laughs> it did. Alright, quite a few actually, don't know what any of it is, but... still charging here. But you'll see even the big guys out now. Anything close? Rhodite harvester. Well... Six kilometers, wow. How's our charge? We're done. Let's carry on. Too bad. I don't see another one of these ash planes anywhere. Hmm. They're usually not that far from apart from each other. You'll find another large one. But not the case here. That one's going to be out in the middle of that rock field. Ugh. There's some big tech around. Well, I'm starting to think store or no store. I'm just going to set myself something up here. Hmm. 
There we go. Alright, I guess all my little guys are full. So... To take stuff we know isn't worth very much. There we go. And replace it with stuff we know is. The most difficult thing about making factories is uh, delivery cannon. I just need a straight anchor. Rotating anchor. There we are, a fixed anchor. Okay. There. Now. that on there. Alright, and to these we are going to go... Okay, we're going to want a refinery. Do I have a scrapper? I do. Alright. So, I'm going to want a scrapper. Actually, I'm going to put this different. Let's, uh, let's just, there we go. <laughs> Much better. Okay. So now we are going to want a delivery cannon, which is generally going to be the last piece. So let's get you, oh, you don't want to go on there? You don't want to attach to that at all, huh? Well, there we go. Thank you. And there's your input. So, knowing that, let's get some conveyors. Well, that's the way you want to do it. Um, okay, I'm going to want a scrapper. But I'm also going to want a refinery. There's a refinery. Where's the input? There it is. Oh, I'm completely lost there. And where's the output? Beside it, so yeah, that's what we want. Why aren't you gonna click into place? Whoa, all right. Another reason it's nice to have the store. Because if I put my dude out and I get attacked, I could lose him. 
There we go. But you want to be able to clear up the parts as soon as possible too. So let's go back to manufacture. I'll just have to watch, make sure nobody shows up, creeps up on me here. Um, all right, we've got the delivery cannon. We want a refinery. There we go. Uh, I just got to figure out where the ins and outs are. No, of course it lined up with the in being there. No, nope, it's still lining up with the input being there. Come on. All right, that's what we're after. Now we're going to want some more belts. And then we want a scrapper. Delivery cannon, minor scrapper. Okay. And this has got just sort of a feel to it. All right, now. Um, Okay, that should work as a very basic factory. Let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, I'm still uh, elevated. All right. Now anything placed in the vicinity of the scrapper, it will uh, pick up and scrap. So you see what it's doing there? And then it will push its blocks out. There we are. And the money is rolling in. So that is a very simple money making factory. Now nothing I've got here is making lots of money because not any of it was really worth that much. I think these little blue guys may be pretty decent. I think the problem is they're not... Uh, Well, I don't want to scrap that, so let's put it outside of the range. Pick it back up. So do I have a larger? I don't think I do. Resource receiver, so yeah, large resource receiver. That's a silo. Look well, at these guys. How much bigger are they? Ok. 
Okay. Okay, that one's feeding from both of them. Now this isn't an efficient harvester, it wasn't designed for that, unfortunately. Yeah, it was designed to be, uh, well, a get me through till I could get enough parts to build another decent vehicle. Beyond that, nothing else. So, what we'll do the next time is we'll put a little bit of a defense up here to, uh, to help this thing along. Now, the other thing that I do want to place down so I don't lose it is one of those beacons that we bought. Filtered nodes, delivery cannons... I wonder what they come in under. Are they an accessory, maybe? Ooh. Let's find out. How did I get on weapons? There we go. Accessory. Block magnet. No idea. Radars. Man, you sure get a lot of junk bits on there too, eh? Where are those signal beacons? There they are. Alright. And this... Okay, the other thing that we kind of want to do just for now is go to power and grab any of these we've got that are extras and do that with them. Okay, and then we're going to do this. bubbles. Let's get a couple of those on. Oops. Good, the sun went down. Which, I actually put the wrong one of these on here anyway. Yeah, just sit there for a moment. I wanted a shield bubble. So one there. One there. Then. Yeah, I don't really want to be charging them up. Well, actually, I guess I can because I'm fully charged. So I'll let them take a little bit of it to fill their batteries. And then we're going to want to get some big blocks on there. Oh, not all blocks. What am I doing? There we go. 
These guys at least. Do I have some big guys? I do. So. Let's do that. No? Okay. I think it might be... There we go. Perfect. Now let's get another one. Put it on top. Get this guy to turn. Do the same there. Oops. Oh, I see. should offer some protection. Yeah, see my little charging thing that I'm using? Isn't really strong enough to charge them up and keep the bubbles going, right? So yeah. That wasn't actually the idea. It's for them to charge during the day, then, you know, pump up their batteries and keep that stuff going. So, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe you uh, figured out a thing or two, or maybe you've got a thing or two you can tell me to figure out, because uh, I'm by no means an expert at this game. You know, I'm just fiddling about with it. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. It helps a lot. Till next time, take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.